Good morning. So, time for this time not a lab update but a driveway update. So, this is the most redundant purchase I've done in my life because I've got a Sharan here and the Polo down in the garage. So why do I need a third car? Well, because I have a <coughs> third engine, the Nissan Leaf engine that I talked about quite a lot in the past. And now I could decide, am I gonna build a test stand for testing it or will I just, you know, make this a test stand? So what we see is a Volkswagen Touran with a 1.6 liter petrol engine and a pretty much broken clutch <clears throat> and some rust in the back. Gorgeous. So the engine still runs. Um, I've gotten to know that uh, there is two CAN buses in there. One engine CAN bus or motor CAN bus, 500 kilobaut and some interior CAN bus at 100k. <coughs> if you take a look inside, yeah, I wouldn't mind using a, a vacuum cleaner on these seats. The seat pocket has seen, I don't know what they put in there. Anyway, some trim has fallen off. Check out the lid, or oh, what's that, an ashtray? Oh no, a bottle holder, of course. And we've got a 12 volt outlet. And then we've got climate control. And then, <clears throat> totally new to me, uh, rear electric windows. I've never owned a car with that. So, the interior trim, of course, has seen better days. This car has done 270,000 kilometers. So, who would be surprised? Good, let's take a look at what we're gonna put inside. Yeah, not much of a surprise here. It's gonna be the Nissan Leaf um, electric motor. And as mentioned in some of the previous videos, uh, this is also fully controlled via CAN. So no traditional I.O. lines, just these two CAN high, CAN low cables for the full control. <clears throat> and if I'm lucky, I can just use the existing messages on the CAN bus to, um, yeah, to make it run, to uh, control throttle and various I.O. We'll see. Now what we can see here is a pretty compact unit. Um, now what we have here is the charger. And I mean, I'm pretty sure it will fit into the engine bay. But I would rather put some more batteries in the engine bay instead of this big ass charger. So what I do consider is maybe try the inverter charger concept. But I'm not sure if it will hurt the magnets if there's DC uh, in, the, in the motor coils. Or I will just go for DC charging and <coughs> just carry a small DC, DC charger with me. Um, whenever I go on trips, but actually on German motorways there's quite a lot of Chademo uh, chargers, so uh, I have a good chance of um, using these on longer trips. So that's uh, the news from the shed and the driveway. Let's go back to the lab and see what's new in there. So now this is really breaking news. Uh, I've just had a visit from UPS. And they actually came with two parcels, not three in fact. So what we see here is two DigiKey parcels and that's uh, almost the entire bomb of the new inverter board. So after making this video I will take off to the PCB assembler and hand it over to him. And what we have here is another parcel from Damien, containing a Toyota Prius inverter. And that lets me have a play with that. Thank you very much. Uh, 
And finally what we have is the new shop, the Open Inverter Org shop. And um, yeah, currently I haven't managed to, to uh, actually redirect Open Inverter Org to the shop yet. Uh, that's gonna happen soon. So right now the address is openinverter.ddns.de forward slash shop. Yeah. So it's got uh, the regular well-known inverter kit, no change here, um, and then there is the new brainboard, and I'm taking pre-orders. It's not available yet, um, but towards the middle of November it will be. I've talked to the assembly person today, <coughs> and he said they have quite a backlog right now, and it will take two weeks from today. Um, as you can see, it's got some options. Uh, so the, the board comes fully populated. And now some parts, uh, some component values vary uh, whether you have a resolver or encoder. And you can also choose whether you want a pin header, like shown in the picture, or a locking header for standalone use. Um, and then, as opposed to the kit, um, you get full application support, so you can contact me via Skype for all uh, sorts of things um, that are going on with your conversion. And there's also a bundle consisting again of a kit of the Nissan Leaf adapter board and again the fully assembled uh, brain board in resolver configuration. Um, same story with the support. That's a bit extended. Um, and if those price tags are a bit too steep for you, you can go ahead and order the bare boards. So this is a Nissan nice Leaf uh, adapter bare board. And there is also the yeah, brain board without components and without support so you can just uh, go ahead um, shop these put your own components on and yes you're ready to go yeah so I think that's it for today it is thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye